Welcome to the 10 Minute Car Sales Talk Podcast, where it's all about life in the car business. Telling you like it is, here's the man with the plan, Terry Cameron. Welcome back to another episode of the 10 Minute Car Sales Talk Podcast, Buzzer Beater Friday edition. I'm Terry Cameron. This week, we're going to talk about not necessarily an objection, but a comment, a statement that a customer makes to the salesperson and possibly the sales manager that really should not be as tough to handle as we make it. And that comment is, hey, can you beat my current rate? In other words, they want to know if we can do better than their bank. I've seen so many salespeople, so many sales managers put their tail between their legs and just give everything up when they're asked this question. And I think probably the most of the time, the answer we give that customer is, uh, I don't know, let me go check. Or, yeah, I think we can. And then we run to the desk to the manager and say, hey, they want to know if we can beat their rate. Well, you know, there's a better way to handle this. But before I tell you how to do that, you need to know this, that it does benefit the customer to finance internally with the dealership. And your finance managers, your business managers can explain in more detail what I mean by that. But heck, if they've got a loan with a really good interest rate at their own bank, they could use that loan for anything. They might as well leave that one there for an emergency and finance through the dealership who only has banks that finance vehicles, not furniture, not vacations, not emergencies. So let's let, let our finance managers explain exactly why it's better to finance with the dealership, regardless if they can beat the rate or not. So, customer says, I've got a 3.9% interest rate. Can you beat that? Your response to them would be, well, I don't know. That's, there's a lot of things that go into determining interest rate. But let me ask you this, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. Even if we couldn't beat your interest rate, are you still purchasing the vehicle from us? Remember, we talked about this before, that there's no use in negotiating with a customer if you do not have a commitment to buy. So again, just ask them the question. I don't know. There's a lot of things that go into determining interest rate. But what I want to know is if we can or can't, are you still going to be purchasing the vehicle with us? And if they say yes, then you go to your desk manager and you explain to them what's going on. You don't have to give him that interest rate. I think about right now is a good time to get that customer statement or that credit application and get the ball rolling. They just said they were going to buy the car. Let's get them into the box with the business manager ASAP. They're the experts. Let them handle the interest rate thing. So next time a customer asks you if you can beat their rate, the answer should be, I don't know. There's a lot of things that go into determining interest rate. But let me ask you this, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, whether we can or can't, beat your interest rate. Are you still purchasing the vehicle? They say yes, you got a deal, let's get them in with finance. If they say no, you've got a little bit more work to do. Let's find out why they're not buying the car, find out if we can overcome that, and if not, let's go find another customer that is ready to buy a car right now. It costs us way too much money when we concentrate and focus on getting the customers settled on interest rate. We sell cars, we sell SUVs, we sell motorcycles, we sell RVs. We do not sell interest rates. Before I go, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone everyone got to spend some time with their family, had some good turkey. And remember, the sky's the limit. I'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to this week's podcast. Please rate it on iTunes and visit the 10minutesalestalk.com website to send an email. We appreciate your valuable feedback and don't forget to share the show with a friend.